That is the verdict coming down more than five years since this scene played out in Lexington County. A senior at Dutch Fork High School stabbed to death following a rival basketball game with Lexington High School. Kieran Dennis first went to trial in 2016 where a jury could not come to a decision in his self-defense claim. Then fast forward to today, his second trial ending with a guilty verdict and a 30-year prison sentence. Our Caroline Hecker, she was in that courtroom as the verdict was read and throughout this entire trial. So Caroline, tell us what comes next for Dennis. Well, Sam, as soon as that 30-year sentence was handed down by the judge, Dennis was taken out of the courtroom into custody. But that guilty verdict, a very emotional one in that courtroom today for both parties involved, their family, their friends, but also the jury actually saw tears in some of the eyes of the jurors as they walked back into the courtroom ready for their verdict to be read. That verdict arrived at after about eight hours or so of deliberation over the course of the last two days. And like you said, to remember in 2016, after 10 hours of deliberation, the jury had come back hung. Now, the family of Devon Capers took their opportunity to speak to the judge, explaining just what their lives have been like without a son, a brother, and cousin the last five years or so, all at the hands of Kieran Dennis. And then we heard from several of Dennis's former pastors, his mother, and Dennis himself. Now, Judge Eugene Griffith handed down that 30-year sentence. That is the minimum amount allowed under South Carolina state law. Uh, but Dennis will likely receive credit for the time he spent on his GPS monitor as a result of his bond stemming from 2014. Well, I do deeply apologize to the Capers family, parents, cousins, brother, sister, whoever was involved with Devon. I really do apologize to them. And it was a tragic thing, and I wish it never happened. And I, I say that every single day, as long as it's been going on. Every day I think, every day I think of it, I wish it never happened. What Mr. Dennis did was cowardly, hateful, indecent, and sinful. Devon was only 17 years old. That would have, he would have turned 18 on June the 3rd, the same day he was graduating from high school. And defense attorney Todd Rutherford tells me he plans to appeal this conviction. He says he's also very unhappy with the judge's decision to not tell the jury about the state's stand your ground law while that judge was charging the jury yesterday. We'll have more on to with Todd Rutherford about that topic, as well as solicitor Rick Hubbard coming off his victory at the Tim Jones trial. We talked to him about this latest victory here. Live in Lexington County, Caroline Hecker, W.